hello guys and welcome to a new brand video in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to auto layout on figma so now the first thing that you will need to do is to open your web browser and then you will need just to go to search bar so you can use any web browser either it was google chrome microsoft edge mozilla firefox or any web browser will do the work after that we need just to search for figma and then we will find the first link that is the www.figma.com you click on it and basically you will need just to log in or create an account and basically here i'm already logged in you can just create an account by clicking on get started for free or you can just go and log in if you have already your account so basically i'm just going to log in my account now and after that we will need to create a new design here so basically you can just go and create new design file you click on it and basically it will take you to your working space and now all it means to do is to follow these simple steps so basically the auto layout is only a feature that will simple the work on uh, the designs on figma so for, for uh, all it will do is to organize your components or your elements so let's for example uh, we are creating some uh, styles or creating a button for example we want it to be here and also we want uh, the text to be centered so for example text and then we are going to add some little icon uh, next to it so it's it's be here and this gonna be our icon let's make it just here and give it some uh, filling color so let's make it like that and basically all you need to do is to select all the elements that you want to auto layout and then you are going to create an auto layout for example we have these three items here so either we can align them at the top here or we want them to be centered on uh, our uh, why it is not everything selected let's just go back and go here and select our rectangle and go for the auto layout and then we are going to create some layout now we can add some padding uh, either you can do it like that as you can see we are creating padding between the elements also you can have some uh, way of the layout either it is a vertical or a horizontal also you can have for example this one and uh, give it make it more uh, free or have here in this frame and also we can have more specification on the paddings etc so you can have more little paddings here more paddings we can make uh, the alignment to be more uh, down etc so we can have multiple things let's try another method of the layout so let's uh, diffuse them or let's just uh, go back and create another thing so for example let's go for this and then let's go again for an ellipse and basically we are going to create like that and then we are going for a little text and basically we want it to be at the top and we want uh, things to be like this and here and we are going to create an auto layout and now we are going to be able to control them so basically also uh, the order matter and you can make it horizontal or vertical you can control whatever you want the padding etc so basically this is how you can use the auto layout on figma thank you for watching and see you next time